Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to show you how to use Corel Draw today um, to create a tangram, something similar to this one here that I've created just before. Um, I'll go through these 10 or so things, um, starting with uh, opening up a drawing and the difference between X6 and version 2018. I'll just X out of this. If you have got um, a Corel Draw X6 icon on your desktop, please double click on that. Otherwise, you'll click on this Corel Draw 2018. I prefer you to use the X6. If you've got the 2018, no problems. You've got it here. Please skip that, and that will open you up to the start page. The welcome screen. From there, don't worry about that. I'm going to go File, New. I'm going to open up. I'm going to save it as Untitled 1. I'm going to save it as um, my grade. I'm going to save it as my name, and I'm also going to tell me what color I want it to be. Okay? You need to have that. If you don't have that, then I won't be able to cut it out for you outside of school time, outside of class time. Please make sure that it's 640 by 460 millimeters. Yeah? It doesn't matter what size your piece is. This is the size of the bed of the laser cutter. It must be 640 by 460 millimeters RGB 300 dpi that's fine hit OK and you should be set up with a box that looks like this this is the um, the bed of the laser cutter okay I'm actually going to go back to this and show you that if you've got a, a mouse which I highly recommend you do you can zoom in and out with the scroll button holding down the scroll ball the scroll um, the scroll wheel you can also pan up and down left and right it makes it very easy for you and very very easy for me to help you out okay I'm going to start by deleting this FYI to delete you can't just press the delete button you've got to hit the function FN button delete to delete okay so I've opened up a drawing the Corel workspace this is what you need to know this is where all the main tools are the line button Sorry, the line button, the box button, the round button, all those sorts of things. Yours might not look exactly the same as this, but you can see that little drop down arrow. That drops down to all the different tools that are underneath there. So yours might actually start by looking like that, etc. Okay. I'm going to ask you to draw a square, to start by drawing a square. Oh, sorry, I'll go back to outline pen. Outline pen. The outline pen is the pen that we need to use to cut. The plastic using the laser cutter so down here is the outline pen if you can double click on that and can you make sure that that says hairline if it's not hairline drop it down and choose hairline and then hit ok if it's not hairline it won't cut if it won't cut it won't come out of the laser cutter okay squares this is my square my rectangle tool yeah if i click hold and let go i get a square yeah, or a rectangle. Click, hold, let go. I get a square, a rectangle. Okay, I'll delete that one. Um, I'm going to go to my pick tool, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this a certain size. Yeah, this here is the size of that square. You can't have a tangram bigger than 140 by 140 millimeters. For the purposes of this, I'm going to ask you that you make that 140 by 140 up in four squares. So I want this to be 70 millimeters, tab, 70 millimeters, return. Can you see that? I've now got a square that's 70 by 70. I'm going to draw a second one. I'm going to make that 70, tab, 70, enter. I'm going to create another one. 70, tab, 70, enter. And then a final one. 70, tab, 70, you guessed it. Okay. I'm going to hit the pick tool and I'm now going to move those up. I'm going to sit them one next to the other. What I can do is I can snap. I can snap to an object and that makes it very easy for me to pick it up from a node from the top corner and drag it to the next node. Yeah, and then if I zoom in, I've got it exactly right. Can you see that? If I was to do that by eye and try and get it right, if I zoom in there, I might be right. I oh, know, I'm nowhere near right. Can you see that? 
So I'm going to move it from the node to that node. Okay, and then finally I'm going to grab that one and take it from that node to there. Okay, so if I zoom in there, look how exact that is. Yeah, absolutely 100% perfect. From there, I'm now going to snap, I'm going to do lines. So here I've got this freehand tool, click and hold and get the two point line. To create a two point line, I've got to click, hold and let go. Okay, click, hold and let go. I'll delete that and I'll delete that one as well. Um, the good thing about snapping is I can snap just not just on a node, but on an edge, but on a midpoint. So I can snap one from that midpoint to that midpoint, that midpoint to that midpoint, that midpoint to there. Can you see how this is looking like the design that I asked you to do in class? And I can go node to node, node to node, node to node, node to node. Oops, I did edge there, didn't I? Yeah, control Z undo node to node and node to node i'm pretty sure i did that right but you feel free to just check that they're all intersecting intersecting that they're all on those nodes once i've got that I'll zoom out i'm going to go back to lines virtual segment delete so this is what i got you to do when i got you to erase certain lines to create your seven piece puzzle because at the moment it's one, two, three, four, five, six, eight times four. What's that? 16, 32 pieces. Yeah. So I'm going to go to here and go to the virtual segment delete button. Okay. From there, I can then delete lines intersected from node to another node. So I can delete that. There's my one piece. I'm going to make another piece that is, and I'll make it like this, this second piece. I'll make a third piece. I can, if I want to, draw a marquee and make one like that. Another one there. How many pieces have I got now? One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to split this into half, yeah? And go six and seven. And that's good because this one here is the same as that piece there. Can you see how they're the same? Actually, that piece, that piece, and that piece are all the same. So that's going to make this quite a good challenge to, um, to solve, yeah? So I'm going to click out of that. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces. I've got my seven piece puzzle. I'm happy with that. I've done my virtual segments. Like now I'm going to group, ungroup. So I'm going to take that there. Now at the moment it says that there's 11 objects. If I go control G, it groups that into 11 objects. So now I can click on it and I can move all 11 objects at once. Get me? And you can see that it's 140 by 140 millimeters. Now I've told you in the past that the border around this can be about 15 millimeters. Yeah. So what's 140 plus 15 plus 15? It's 170, isn't it? So I'm going to draw a box that's 170 tab 170. Yeah. It's not exactly in the middle yet, is it? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line it horizontally and vertically. If I click and highlight both of those objects, so there's that group of 11 objects and there's that one there. Can you see it's two objects? I can now go to that object and I can align and distribute them vertically and I can align and distribute them horizontally. Now can you see they're perfectly in the middle now? Yeah. I'm now going to get this square and I'm going to give this square a rounded edge around the top, just so it's a bit safer to handle. I'm going to give it a five millimeter tab, five millimeter tab. You might need to hit tab five, tab five, depending on how yours is snapped. But you can see now that I've got a nice rounded five millimeter edge on the corner there. And it's 170 by 170 millimeters. I'm now going to group that once more. Control G. So it's grouped and now I can start to save it and record it. File, save, uh, save. I'm going to save it. I don't know why it didn't save as I wanted it before. I'm going to save it on a USB drive or however it is that your teacher asks you to do it. Can you please save it as 
your grade, your name, and your color that you want it to be. That way, my myself or Michael can cut it out on the color outside of class time. Okay, I'm not going to do that now, but you'll be able to do that. So now you can see in this 10 minute presentation, a little bit of that Corel Draw, the difference between X6 and 2018, and I want you to use X6 if you can, how to open a drawing, how to use the workspace, the outline pen, and why it's important that it's hairline, creating squares and using the measurements, snapping, creating lines, using the virtual segment delete to get your seven pieces, grouping and ungrouping. I didn't explain ungrouping. Ungroup is basically to ungroup things. So at the moment, it's a group of objects. If I go control U, U is to ungroup, yeah? Now it becomes two objects. Control G is to group it together. Aligning horizontally and vertically so that the um, border stays nice. And that's it. Your um, tangram is done in less than 11 minutes and 9 seconds. Good luck, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you've got your headphones in and enjoy this uh, video presentation.